Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm George and today we're looking at the Mayflower 2. Now I know we've looked at this radio before but I've done a reasonable bit of work. So let's start with the obvious. Does it work now? So we're going to turn it on and hopefully, hopefully, very hopefully. Darlington Hospital as a porter. Great teamwork there, apparently. Thank you, thank you so much for your hard work. That's the easy bit. Since you saw it last, it's been completely rebuilt. And I mean completely rebuilt. I'm going to power it down for the moment, and then I'm going to unplug the antenna and the speaker. And I'm going to unplug it from the mains. And I'm going to turn it over. It's clean and almost and I say almost almost every component has been replaced every single capacitor and resistor except for this one and this one and these red small value capacitors have been changed was it easy no it wasn't why wasn't it easy because I'm an idiot. I left two resistors in. It sounded awful. It just popped and crackled and I couldn't figure out why. I really couldn't. And it just made me wonder. So there I was wondering, wondering and doing more wondering. And it turned out the two resistors I'd left in were both the wrong value. Whoop! Whoop! No! Instead of 220 ohms, they were 220 kilo ohms. Now, I went through the schematic, I went through the entire layout, I checked where everything was, what everything was, and I couldn't figure it out. And I was on a video chat with Cody's, Paul, and we were sitting here and we're thinking, what could be wrong, what could be wrong? Much, much, much later. And we finally sort of sitting there and we're both umming and ahhing, and then I look one at at the schematic again and what do I see I see the 220 and I don't see a K at the end of it so yeah it hadn't been working because of these two resistors just two half penny resistors bloody things I did do an alignment I did that earlier tonight off camera because you don't want to see me twiddle 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 and listen to that horrible 1k tone so I did that off camera and it's about as good as we're gonna get it on the top side we've just got a cleaning job done we've got obviously the part the transformer this was rusty I took the bell housing off the transformer disconnected all of the the wiring from the voltage selector switch yep yeah, that was fine cleaned up everything under here lubricate or well, cleaned and lubricated all of the dial cord pulleys and uh, points replaced the resistor that was wrong on the magic eye and just generally brought it back to life i'm going to plug it in again now i'm not on direct mains at the moment i am on my isolation transformer one thing that uh, anybody who doesn't know anything about valve radios should know is that if you have an output transformer like this on a radio with exposed terminals i will guarantee you at least two of those terminals will be at around 250 300 volts of dc that's enough to give you a seriously bad day so if you don't feel comfortable playing with this stuff. Let somebody else do it. Just a friendly warning. Now, for those of us who are mad enough to actually like playing with this stuff, let's switch on the live electricity. We'll just let it heat up. There we go. And of course, the first channel I can find, it doesn't work because it's got music. Right, now this station is a BBC local station. I can't pick up any of the national ones in here at this time of night, simply because of all the electronics that are going on with the, the cameras, the lights and everything else. So I've only got two stations that I can 
receive off air. Now, when I was testing this in the daytime, I was getting a handful of stations. So it does actually work. When I put it together, I will give you a proper demonstration, probably outside if the weather's good, of the radio in its cabinet and it's ready to go. Now, I haven't shown you the cabinet because I haven't finished polishing it and cleaning it but it has been stripped back completely it has been sanded stained sealed uh, it's it's gonna look pretty you're gonna be impressed I'm gonna flash up a couple of pictures on the screen so that you can see exactly how far I have got with the cabinet We've got a radio that works, a working radio. You didn't, don't worry, you can have to go tomorrow morning, 3 a.m. with Simon Beale. But if you do like my music today, stick with me, right? Katrina Ridley on Hearts. I've got all the music to keep you smiling. Pink and Katy Perry coming up. This is hard. It all works. I'm going to leave it at that. Otherwise, you're going to get bored of seeing me. That's just a quick update. I will do a proper, proper video of the reassembly and how it's been going. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.